I'm not involved at all in WebRTC. Um, it is, I think, one of the most exciting pieces uh, because it finally takes us to um, the ability to basically program your own telephone, video telephone, uh, Dick Tracy, you know, video, you know, watch telephone. I don't know who Dick Tracy is. You may be too young to have read those comic books. Um, he had a video phone in, on his watch in the 1950s. Okay, right, so there you go. But the point is that we could program that in JavaScript. Okay, a first year student could program this in JavaScript without having to resort to, you know, all sorts of nonsense in this and oh, it winds up running on this version of Windows only or whatever. So we still have telephones that operate like they did in the 1950s, right? The phone rings, who's at the other end? Well, you might have caller ID, but it might be lying to you, okay? Um, you have no way to tell your phone, don't disturb me unless it's my mom, right? You have no way of telling your phone, you can ring as long as it's not my mom, right? Either way are important modes. You can't program that into your phone today because nobody has innovated in telephony, right? There's been no innovation in telephony since the 50s, basically until we went from the black things to the ones with the, dot, the push buttons, right? That's the only innovation we've had. Um, and so finally that's loose and it's out there and we're just on the cups, cusp of, of that change. Um, and I think it'll be revolutionary um, for a number of industries will disappear. Telemarketing will completely disappear. Um, there may be other marketing that becomes enabled, um, but that I think is a really big, big change for the average person that their telephones could transform into something, you know, useful. Like, have you ever telephoned somebody while they were phoning you? At the same time, I pick up the phone, I phone you. You pick up the phone, you phone me. What happens? We both talk to each other's voicemail. Isn't that stupid? <laughs> completely stupid. Why doesn't the system know we're trying to contact? I should simply say, I'm trying to contact so-and-so. When it's convenient, let me know, and we can talk, right? And let the computers go and figure that out. That's an application that you know, people in science fiction novels in the 60s assumed would happen. And it hasn't happened yet, right? So as I said, I don't work in that space, and maybe it's not really you know, happening the way I think it is, but that's the thing that I think is the most visible, visible to the public exciting thing.